Hey everybody, it's Christine. Happy 4th of July. Today I have a new layout for the scrap room featuring this America red, white, and blue themed page kit. And it is from Doodlebug Design. And I am actually going to use the sketch for this month as well because I really liked a lot of the papers in this. And a sketch is always a good way to be able to to make sure that you include a lot of patterned papers because generally they contain a lot of different uh, sections. Um, and sometimes I feel like I don't always use patterned papers as much as I want to. So when I do want to use a lot of them, I set out with a sketch. So the first thing you're seeing me do is cut out the big circle that is on the side of the sketch. And then I'm also gonna cut out some little circles. And you're seeing me employ a couple of different older circle cutter tools. Um, both of these are really old, like this, probably seven or eight years old, at least. <laughs> um, but they still work and get the job done. So I'm cutting out circles all in the same patterned paper, and then I'm going to work in some other patterned papers throughout the layout. So I'm going to adhere this bigger one that is about a nine inch circle onto the side there, just like the sketch calls for. And I do stick pretty close to the sketch today. A few little differences, but not any major ones. Um, so I'm going to add this red paper on there. And the reason I went for the red versus the blue or versus the white ones with patterns like this one um, was because my pictures, my son is wearing a bright blue shirt. So I wanted to have that contrast of the red and white up against his blue shirt and not have it be overly dominated by the blue. So you can see right there are those pictures and I've got that really cool star paper that I'm going to use to back his pictures. I am going to still go ahead and mat those in white just to make them pop a little bit more and separate them from the patterns but then I will tuck that underneath and just a good way to add a bunch a, a busier paper without it being overwhelming but still letting it have a little bit of a chance to shine in there. Um, I am also going to pop them up on that. Again, that will just give that paper a little bit more of a chance to shine instead of being completely buried. Um, for whatever reason, when you pop it up, it just it makes the paper pop just a little bit more. Um, and so I like to do that again, if I'm still trying and wanting to show have that paper show somewhat um, and not get completely buried. Now, I, I'm going to be honest, I don't very often back my pictures with patterned paper. I will often back them with, you know, I'll mat them with the cardstock and then I'll have it kind of maybe tucked underneath, but not all the way like I am doing for this one. Now I am using some crafty foam tape and you can see it's a big old giant roll. This roll is 108 um, oh shoot, feet I think long. <laughs> I could be wrong about that. I need to look it up. I'll, I'll mark it in the comments down below. Um, it's super long. It's huge, which would definitely make it more than 108 inches. Um, <laughs> but so it's really big from Scrapbook Adhesives by 3L. It's one of their newer products. And I always went through their smaller rolls really fast. So I was really glad to see them come out with this one and give me just a way to uh, really really not run out quickly, not have to open a new package every couple of layouts. It is um, also just a great way to back bigger spots that you need for, um, for that foam adhesive rather than just all the little squares and having to peel off each piece on the square. So now you can see I am adhering that on there and I'm also going to use some royal blue cardstock to go on the border both on the top and bottom of my layout. Now, I decided to use straight up cardstock instead of patterned paper. There was a blue patterned paper in this page kit, and I originally thought I would use it, but it had just a hue of violet in it that was not a good match with my picture at all. It was just too much violet. And so I decided we would just go with this blue cardstock that you're seeing right now. And it's going to be a really thin strip, only a half inch inch tall, um, but we'll go all the way across the layout, um, bringing that blue up to the top and bottom of the layout and, of course, the middle. 
Okay, I did pause real quick and I went and checked and it is, the Crafty Foam Tape is 108 feet, which just, it sounds like so much when I say it out loud. That's why I was second guessing myself, but I was right. It is a whole lot. Carrying on and back to the layout, um, I'm going to get my pictures put on there and I've got my base created then. I'm going to start to work on embellishing and adding my title. So I am going to use some pattern papers to really play this whole thing up. Now the sketch calls for um, some circles both at the top and towards the bottom and I am going to modify that a little bit to meet my needs but not too much. I'm still going to include two more circles on there. Um, real quick while I am doing some adjustments let's talk a little bit about what these page kits are. This is from the Flavors of the Month kit and it is one of four different page kits that come in that kit. It is each month you get patterned papers, three patterned papers, a couple pieces of cardstock, and some embellishments. You can also add on an additional embellishment kit so that you get even more embellishments to work with. And you can add on other stuff too, like patterned paper kits, cardstock kits, lots of things. So great option for those of you who like to try out new stuff every month this gives you four new things to try out every month and pretty regularly you can build an entire layout every once in a while i have to add something for the title or maybe a few little embellishments here and there um but it gives you a really good start if not complete layout each for each page kit on today's, I am going to create my title from some older stash stuff that I have. And that was just quite simply because the title options in this page kit didn't quite work for what I was looking for today. And I think we all know that can be true anytime. So it wasn't even that there wasn't title options. It's just that they weren't quite the right one. So I needed to tweak it to meet my needs. And um, so that's something... A little bit unusual. I don't very often have to change up my any part of the kit, um, but every once in a while it does happen. So we have got some more patterned papers I am working in here now. You can see I've got some of that darker blue that was the cardstock, and then I'm going to add in this balloon paper. And mostly I'm really just going for the added color on this. Obviously, I don't care about the balloons showing um, because I'm not really showing them very well um, but I'm looking for that that aqua blue to come into play and just add an another layer of interest to the whole thing now you can see that I have added my title on these are just some letter stickers as well as an acrylic word from Bella Boulevard and I put on there God Bless America and then I did pull from the kit Land That I Love that is an ephemera piece and I thought that just worked really cool to make a, a title that spread from the top to the bottom of the layout. I'm also going to tuck some firework pieces in as an embellishment. These are also from the ephemera in the page kit and I'm going to use those just as an accent. Right now you can see I'm playing around trying to figure out where the best location to put those are and I'm pretty well settled that I want that one there to the right of the of the pictures. Where I want the second one I kind of hemmed and hawed but I'm going to land on setting it up there and I'm now trying to just figure out okay but where up there do I want it um and do I want it at all that's always the tricky thing like sometimes I look at stuff and I'm like no yeah maybe I want it maybe I don't it's okay it's not great um and I know you all have that feeling too when you're looking at a layout and you set something down and you're like yes that's it that's the perfect one right there and other times you're like uh eh, I guess <laughs> Um, this was one of those moments where I was like, I don't know. <laughs> um, but it's, you know, everything, you know, obviously like the one on the right side was like, yes, that's it. <laughs> um, it just kind of always seems to work out that way that there's some element of a layout that you're like, ah, uh, okay. <laughs> um, carrying on, 
my favorite part of this page kit actually came in the embellishment kit and that was these stars these are little epoxy stars that you see off to the left here and they really inspired me to build up some clusters of stars which if you know anything about me you know i use stars all the times on my layout so it's no surprise that I love this part of the page kit. <laughs> um, and it came with a lot of them, so I was able to really make use of that. Now, like I said, this was part of the embellishment kit, so that is an add-on, um, but like it just worked so nicely to be a subtle embellishment, not overwhelming what I already had there, but really complimenting it. And I love it when that happens. I love it when you have just a simple embellishment that can take a layout to the next level without going crazy. Now my final step after I add all these on is just to add some red mist splatters because I mean fireworks, you have to have red mist splatters, right? And there you have it. So thank you so much for joining me today. Be sure to head on over to the scrap room and check out this month's kits. Happy 4th of July, everyone.